Good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I am at Lakeview Cemetery in Burlington, Vermont, and I plan to talk about Urban Andron Woodbury because there are so many interesting people buried here at Lakeview Cemetery. Urban Andron Woodbury was born July 11, 1838, and died April 15, 1915. He was an American Civil War veteran, an entrepreneur, and a U.S. politician of the Republican Party. He served as mayor of Burlington, lieutenant governor, and as the 45th governor of Vermont. He was born in Ackworth, New Hampshire, the son of, of, of a couple who were natives of Cavendish, Vermont. He intended on a career as a physician and attended the medical department of the University of Vermont, from which he graduated in 1859. He never practiced medicine because he had decided to enlist in the Union Army for the U.S. Civil War. He enlisted on May 25, 1861, and mustered in as First Sergeant of Company H, 2nd, Infantry, 2nd Vermont Infantry, on June 20. He fought at the July 21 First Battle at Bull Run, where he lost his right arm after being struck by a fragment from an exploding artillery shell, thus becoming Vermont's first empty sleeve. Woodbury was captured, and after nearly three months in prison in Richmond, Virginia, he was paroled on October 5, 1861. He was discharged on account, on account of wounds on October 18. In December 1862, Woodbury accepted a commission as a captain and was assigned as commander of Company D, 11th Vermont Infantry. He transferred to the Veteran Reserve Corps on June in June 1863 and resigned from the service March 27, 1865. After returning from the war, Woodbury settled in Burlington and engaged in the lumber and hotel businesses. For 19 years, he was manager of the Booth Lumber Company of Burlington, and for 35 years, owner and proprietor of the Van Ness House, a hotel he enlarged twice, enabling it to accommodate 400 guests. In fact, here is a picture of the Van Ness House. At the time of his death, he was president of the Mead Manufacturing Company, the Crystal Confectionery Company, and the Queen City Cotton Company. A Republican, he was elected alderman in Burlington's second ward in 1881 and 1882, and he was president of the board in his second year. Uh, uh, to be elected alderman meant he was a member of the city council. From 1884 to 1886, he served as a colonel on the staff of Governor John L. Barstow. He was mayor of Burlington in 1885 and 1886, and lieutenant governor from 1888 to 1890 under Governor William P. Dillingham. He served as governor from 1894 to 1896. In 1898, he was appointed by President William McKinley to a commission led by General Grenville Dodge, which investigated the conduct of the War Department in the Spanish-American War. Woodbury was active in Freemasonry and attained the 32nd degree of the Scottish Rite. His other fraternal associations included Freemasonry, IOOF, Grand Army of the Republic, Military Order of the Loyal Legion of the United States, Sons of the American Revolution, and Knights of Pythias. Woodbury was also an early member of the Green Mountain Club, which was established at a meeting in the Van Ness House in 1910. Woodbury became ill in early 1915, and in February he traveled to the Battle Creek Sanitarium in Michigan to seek a cure. He suffered several strokes soon after beginning a course of treatment, and after it was clear he would not recover, Woodbury asked to be brought back to Burlington so he could pass his final days at his home. He died. Ah, bugs here. <laughs> he died in uh, Burlington on April 15, 1915, and is buried here at Lakeview Cemetery. On February 12, 1860, Woodbury married Paulina L. Darling, daughter of Ira and Sarah Darling of Elmore, Vermont. They were the parents of six children, Charles, Minnie, Gertrude, Edward, Lila, and Mildred. Gertrude Woodbury, 1872 to 1962, was the wife of George M. Powers, who served as an associate justice of the Vermont Supreme Court. So let's take a look and walk around his grave, shall we? So 
right down here, it does say UA Woodbury. And then where the flag is, uh, that's his, his marker right there. I'm guessing this is perhaps Mildred. Well, walking around this large marker. We see that uh, Minnie, daughter of, is buried here, the one I thought. Uh, she died in 1942, as we can see. Look at that lovely detail right there. Isn't that beautiful? On the back side here, I'll go ahead and read this to you because I'm not sure it's readable. There's, the sun in my, is in my eyes, so I can't really see the screen. But it says, Urban Andron Woodbury, born in Ag Agworth, New Hampshire, July 11, 1838, died April 15, 1915. While Sergeant, 2nd Vermont Volunteers, lost right arm at first, bat, uh, first bull run, July 21, 1861. Taken to Richmond Prison and later exchanged Captain uh, Company D, 11th Vermont Volunteers, 1862, honorably discharged U.S. Service, 1865, Governor of Vermont, 1894-96, Paulina L. Darling, his wife, born in Morristown, Vermont, December 6, 1842, died June 10, 1934. And then, as we come around, so this side here, you see, um, more people born in Cavendish, Vermont, uh, Bolton, Canada, and this monument was erected by Urban A. Woodbury. You can see at the bottom there. If you're going to come to look at his grave, note how close he is to the lake. Uh, also note that interesting marker right there. I haven't done that person's history quite yet, but he is coming along. So this is the second to the last path. And uh, as I, uh, you might remember the pauper graves, excuse me, not the pauper graves, the children's graves. I'll put a link in the description below. So if you come across the children's graves, you are in very close to Governor Woodbury's resting place. But as we can see, by walking over here, Although there's not an actual road right there, there is one more level down. So this is the, the you can see over here though that there is a roadway. <laughs> so there is sort of a partial roadway down below here. So the last full roadway is right here where Woodbury's grave is. Near the uh, General Stannard grave. I've already done a, a, a video on him. Sue nearby. As I pan over here, you can see Woodbury is nearby to the, the generals. Alrighty. Well, thanks so much for coming with me today. I appreciate it. And uh, you have a great day. And until I see you to the next one, have a good one. Bye.